Hi, I'm Christine Chang. We're here at the mall. <laughs> Sponsor us. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. See, this is a smart thing to do. You let people introduce themselves so you don't have to memorize anything. I'm Shining. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram at Shining Love Smile. I do comedy. I talk about dicks and balls and politicians. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to talk about sex. Yes. Sexy time. <laughs> Shining has been with her husband for over 10 years, 11 years. Mm -hmm. So I feel that you can talk about this, about keeping passion alive because you have been in a long-term relationship, so you've been through the ups and the downs. To me, sex is very important. I need quality sex. Yes. Yeah. Who? And... I've never heard anyone say I would like mediocre, <laughs> low-quality sex. And you're right, because if there's no sex in your romantic relationships, then you are literally just roommates. Yeah. Or your friends, exactly. right? And yeah. we, anyone can go make friends. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you would say to number one have a healthy relationship with sex mm -hmm. and then two what can you do to keep the passion alive for me what helped us um was drugs <laughs> what kind <laughs> what, what, which ones um, edibles ecstasy <laughs> you name it and also like toys okay. yeah. my husband actually is the person that introduced me to vibrators really yeah, like, you've never used it before that no Aren't they amazing? Yeah. Oh my God. Like, they made me like kind of lazy. And I'm like, I'm just going to use this. Yeah. So like um, I grew up in China. And then for like any viewers that are Asian, you know, like in our culture. Yeah, and it shame. feels shame. It's shame. I, I feel like uh, liberated living here and exposing myself to powerful women. Like, you know, like Cardi B or Megan Thee Stallion. And then people criticize these uh, rappers like Slutty or whatever. But they do really empower women you know like me closet sluts <laughs> toys and then um drugs and then also just openly talk about it and then us women we don't just you know go in we, we need a lot of foreplay and planning yeah oh, for sure yeah. you don't just like stick it in it's kind of like an all day thing like my husband would do laundry <laughs> clean the kitchen like whenever he does this i'm like Oh shit, you want your dick sucked or something? <laughs> I haven't heard any man who don't like to get their dick sucked. This is true. Yeah. This like, is true. <laughs> Do you like sucking dick? I mean, obviously, like if it makes right. your partner happy, there's that comment, but the act itself, do you like sucking dick? I do. I feel like like I'm I'm in power. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like like I feel the dominant one. I understand, like, I have some girlfriends who do not like that. They feel, like, degraded. degraded, yeah. But I feel the opposite of it. I feel empowered. You're in my control now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. when you see their reaction, typically, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, how yeah. it feels. I have both sides, okay? And I'm not going to lie, it's changed for me after being married. Because I, I used to love doing it and that feeling because yeah. of that it's empowered. you know, And you want to turn your partner on. Yeah. But now, like, if Pete didn't like it, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's no way I'd do it. I'm just like, my mouth, my jaw is sore. And, you know? <laughs> so there's a part of me that, like, the actual, the act of it, yeah. I wouldn't be like... I really want to do it, but I do want to please him. I'll admit, I do it less than when we first met. Mm -hmm. I could step up my game there. <laughs> it's not the way I feel about it that I used to. I think the important thing is that you conti continually want to please your partner mm -hmm. and you like to see them turned on. Exactly. Happy. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a like a two-way thing. Like, I, I want to get eat out sometimes, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you, you give and then you receive if you're not happy with how someone else is showing up with you i mean it's that simple too like oh i'm the one that was holding this back you know i'm like putting all the pressure on them like why aren't you doing this once you start doing it and give it comes right back so i think it's really healthy for couples in regard to whatever aspects not just sex but you know anything financially or you know health wise or mental or improve yourself and take the initiative yourself you lead and the other person will follow your lead like as a woman you can't rely everything you're on your partner or like expect your partner to do everything yeah and you know, sometimes you got to take initiative too and it's it's really healthy for marriage or relationships sex itself 
is healthy. You know, you want to be healthy mentally and like physically your body, but the act of having sex is also mm -hmm. healthy. Yeah, yeah. Can we talk about, because you've been with your husband for a long time, the lulls or, you know, like, because I used to think there was something wrong if we didn't have oh, sex every day. Like, oh my God, we're not having sex every day. There's something wrong. I don't know where we get our expectations from sometimes, yeah. you know, we just assume everyone is doing oh it God. all the time and it's healthy. Yeah. Real life is not like that. Real life has things going on, mm -hmm. you know, when you get overwhelmed or who someone's sick, like who knows what's going on. Can you talk a little bit about lulls and what you do when things are... Um, dry <laughs> no yeah definitely like we go through like a dry times i didn't really force like sex to happen just because uh we're in a dry spell there were a lot going on in uh, our lives but we've we've always like tried to like play around like, you know when i see him cooking or you know walking around or you know, doing dishes i will pull his pants down <laughs> Just like playful. a hump, and, yeah, playful, yeah, <laughs> and then kind of you know, slapping in the, on the butt. <laughs> oh, I love that. Pete's butt is my favorite. I never, th I never thought I would be that person. I thought it would be like shoulders or something, but I'm like, I really like your butt. I'm always, I always want to touch it. Porn sometimes help. Yeah. Okay, you guys watch. And then, you watch yeah, it together? together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was younger, definitely, I, I felt insecure when. I found out my boyfriend at the time jerking off to porn. I felt like, am I not enough for you? Mm -hmm. Now that I'm older, I watch porn too. And it's just uh, very normal. What genre is he watching? <laughs> Do you want to share? Which one are you clicking on? Massage. Like oh, couple massage, massage oh, okay. yeah. Like high, higher quality. Nowadays, sometimes because it yeah. pops up, I'm like, this is gross. Personally, I like gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's too much for you. It pops up. I'm like, damn, that is rough. Yeah, I know. <laughs> FYI, like sexual fantasy is not some sometimes does not equal to what you want to do in real life so <laughs> i'm on <wonky>. it <laughs> for men who are insecure about their girls using vibrators please don't makes your job easier you you definitely help too to intensify <laughs> i think the ones that do feel like they're not needed not good enough mm, that's it like yeah. you got your vibrator do you need me yeah talk to your partner yes yeah that, that's an important one yeah. is communicating what you want, what you desire, what yeah. you need. Because people also aren't mind readers. I think sometimes we, you know, when we meet someone, we're like, oh, I just want him to get get me in bed, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm like, that's not even giving people a fair chance. They can't read your mind. And then for like, man, don't be afraid of, you know, using some force. This is one <laughs> thing that some of my guy friends aren't aware of they assume that like i hate the term boss babe but you know like women more and their alpha that they also want to be alpha in bed i'm like no like choke me like fuck me hard <laughs> yeah we like to get fucked <laughs> <laughs> like you take control like is there anything else that you because there's only so many like positions that you can do mm -hmm. right and then there's yeah. like first time like anal with your partner you know you go there but then what is there is there anything else changing environment too. check into like a local hotel sometimes you just forget to make to be intentional about it that's one thing too is you do it takes intention and then also um another way to improve is just take care of yourself keep yourself attractive not to say to like just to please your partner like when you meet new friends and you know try uh, different experiences and say more yeses in your life your partner will see you glow and then that can give your partner a different like layer of attraction i mean think about what you find attractive in general what do you gravitate yeah. towards you know is it someone that's just like oh god nah. or you know there's people we're all we're all attracted to them the ones that have that zest for life that curiosity <laughs> It's, it's that easy, not that complicated. It never is. Yeah. It's the, it's the actual <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Make more friends. I don't know, like bring different type of interests in your um, life. Our, our life is pretty sad. Not boring, but not much drama going on, especially now we're yes. yeah, uh, not in high school anymore. <laughs> you know, when we do hear, oh, 
something is going on, some drama in some people's lives, you kind of get a little excited. <laughs> We're both like getting cold. It's fucking cold here. I got my tea. So if people would like to send you a DM or reach out to you, where's the best place they can do that? You can follow me on TikTok or Instagram at Shining Love Smile. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> Thanks no, for it's a little awkward. <laughs> I'm like, I've never done this before at the mall talking about sex. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>